dear students few more problems i shall discuss on uh, solution under the case of second order and uh, higher order differential equations with re with a reference to the case of types of roots one is uh, roots are real and uh, re uh, non repeated roots are real and repeated and roots are imaginary in these three cases if, uh, some more problems we have to uh, uh, continue and then so that uh, the method you will get more familiarized okay so the next method next problem which i am going to take up is this one solve y triple dash that is minus 4y dab double dash plus y dash plus 6y equal to 0 <coughs> to solve this one directly you can put it already uh, steps directly you can write by the introduction of linear differential operator that is capital D therefore this must be d cube minus 4 d square plus d plus 6 operating on y is equal to 0 operating on y is equal to 0 means this is the case of functional function of differential operator this is f of d uh, this part that is operating on y is equal to 0 this implies auxiliary equation what is that auxiliary equation it is m cube minus 4 m square plus m plus 6 equal to 0 m cube minus 4 m square plus m plus 6 is equal to 0 then for what value of m this equation satisfies uh, there uh, uh, why we are using that trial and verification method because directly you can't make factorization of this uh, step so we have to go for trial and verification trial and verification means what uh, introducing one value of m and then we will see that the equation satisfies or not if the equation satisfies then it is fine that itself we will take it as one root and then we will proceed to the next one okay so let us verify uh, one by one and your verification should be uh, in this fashion that means in this uh, direction uh, if this equation contains all the terms as positive then whatever the positive number you give it will not satisfy right uh, then alternately plus minus plus minus you have to uh, go on giving if you give 1 then you try for minus 1 if you give 2 try for minus 2 in that way then for example let me start with f of, uh, uh, f of m anyway this is the equation that is equal to f of m then for f of m equal to 0 that is equal to 6 which is not equal to 0 and f of m equal to that is 1 uh, that is equal to 1 minus 4 plus 1 and plus 6 that is also 8 minus 4 that is plus 4 which is not equal to 0 then f of m equal to minus 1 let us check uh, this is minus 1 and plus uh, sorry minus 4 and minus 1 and plus 6 plus 6 that is equal to what value you are going to expect on the simplification that is minus 1 minus 4 minus 1 and plus 6 this should be minus 6 and plus 6 that is equal to 0 so anyway this number satisfies the given uh, differential equation which is written in the form of uh, auxiliary equation okay so this is m cube minus 4 m square plus m plus 6 is equal to 0 so what else you have to write then m equal to minus 1 means m plus 1 equal to 0 is 1 factor is 1 factor so that so that m plus 1 right you have to take division for m cube and minus 4 m square plus m plus 6 uh, for this you have to take a division process right this is m square you have to take that makes us m cube and plus of m square and on subtraction minus 5 m square right minus 5 m square and you take this plus m as it is here minus 5 m this is minus 5 m square okay minus 5 m and m is minus 5 m square 
and minus 5 m is there right so with this this cancels and this becomes 6 m and plus 6 this 6 if you make a combination then plus 6 times you can take so 6 m and plus 6 makes the remainder as 0 this is your division process so remainder should be uh, equal to 0 whenever you take the division process that implies m plus 1 into m plus 1 is one factor and m square minus 5 m right minus 5 m and plus 6 is equal to 0 therefore m is equal to minus 1 is 1 root and m square minus 5 m plus 6 equal to 0 therefore if you take uh, minus 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 plus that is m uh, uh, algebraic method will give the roots m is equal to minus b plus minus root of it is b square directly if it is possible you write it minus 4 a c and divided by 2 a whole divided by 2 a so that gives minus of minus 5 because b is minus 5 and plus minus root of it is 25 minus 5 whole square as 25 and minus 4 into into 1 the, this is a 4 a c c is 6 that is into 6 whole divided by it is 2 into 1 therefore m is equal to m is equal to minus minus 5 that is 5 by 2 plus or minus 1 by 2 this becomes how much that is 1 therefore into 1 only because 6 fours are 24 and 25 minus 24 is 1 therefore 5 by 2 plus uh, 1 by 2 and 5 by 2 minus 1 by 2 that gives us 6 by 2 means 3 and 5 minus 1 means it is 2 therefore 2 into 2 and 3 m is equal to therefore finally you can take it as m equal to minus 1 and m is equal to that is uh, 3 and m is equal to 2 so these are the three numbers we are getting as roots of auxiliary equation therefore the solution of this equation is given by y is equal to yc equal to c1 e to the power minus x plus c2 e to the power 3x plus c3 e to the power it is 2x so this is what the solution you can expect suppose uh, initial conditions are not given okay so this is one such problem and we will move on to the next uh, problem how that is different from the existing one solve that is d to the power of 4 y divided by dx to the power of 4 and plus 2 times it is d cube y divided by it is dx cube plus of it is d square y it is divided by dx square correct huh? so this is equal to 0 here the here also the initial conditions are not given then you can leave your answer in terms of that is constants how many constants you will get here this problem was third order derivative then you have c1 c2 c3 three constants this is fourth order derivative then you will expect totally four uh, different uh, arbitrary constants okay so first of all let, let us write uh, this one in ldo form that is linear differential operator form uh, by introducing d in the solution d is equal to uh, dy by dx means capital d to the power of 4 that is y plus 2 times it is d cube y d cube y plus of d square y is equal to 0 then d square you can take outside that is uh, sorry d to the power of 4 plus 2 d cube and what else that is uh, plus of d square operating on y is equal to 0 then you can take d square outside because d square is common 
d square once again 2 times d and plus 1 operating on y is equal to 0 is your final form of f of d this is y is equal to 0. So, this is the standard form of homogeneous differential equation. Standard form of homogeneous differential equation means that is f of d y equal to 0 with the RHS value as 0. Now, uh, one by one we have to find out the roots. The first one immediately it gives d square 2 roots, but total number of roots are totally 4 values you must get. We will see how these 4 roots uh, can be generated from this uh, equation because fourth order derivative means 4 constants must come for this uh, differential equation. How these 4 values will be uh, possible we will verify. first uh, uh, possible pair of roots because two uh, roots first two roots will be in pairs that is d square is there first we will write auxiliary equation auxiliary equation is m square into m square plus 2m plus 1 equal to 0 is the auxiliary equation remember auxiliary equation should be written as f of d equal to f of m equal to 0. This should be in your mind. You are replacing the derivative symbol d as m that is a number. Okay, That is a number means you are writing d directly in terms of m because d is a, a variable term but this is not a variable term this is a constant. Therefore, in the form of m, m only we write. This implies m square plus 2m plus 1 directly can be written as m plus 1 whole square. Correct? Huh? That is a square plus 2ab plus b square form. That b square is 1 square. m square plus 2m plus 1 if you write it as 1 square a square plus 2ab plus b square can be written as a plus b whole square b is equal to 1. Therefore, this, these are the two equations you are getting for uh, finding the roots. This implies m into, if you want you can write in detail, this is m plus 1 into m plus 1 equal to 0. This is what the uh, uh, separated uh, form factors you have written. What is the first value? This implies m is equal to 0, one more 0 that is minus 1, then one more minus 1. Okay. So, these are the four possible values for your differential equation as auxiliary form. That means, d to the power of 4 y divided by dx to the power of 4 and 2 times plus 2 times uh, d, d to the power of 3 y divided by dx cube plus d square y divided by it is dx square that is equal to 0. So, m equal to 0, 0, minus 1 and minus 1. What is the type of roots you can notice in this case? Roots are real, they are not imaginary, but they are repeated. Okay? You can write that sentence, roots are, roots are real and they are repeated roots are real and repeated. Therefore, roots are real and repeated means you are going to write the solution for this step as y is equal to c1 e to the power 0 into x plus c2 x into e to the power 0 into x plus c3 uh, e to the power minus of x plus c4 x into e to the power minus of x. This gives c1 plus c2x plus of c3 uh, e to the power minus x and plus c4 x into e to the power minus x. And finally, <coughs> finally c1 plus c2x plus c3 plus c4 x into e to the power minus x. This is the method of writing. Uh, some authors prefer to write like this. 
by writing exponential term outside. So, whenever we have this is the fourth order derivative, you must expect four different uh, arbitrary constants and then you have to evaluate. Okay? We shall write another example on the same line uh, finding the uh, various types of roots with constant coefficients. that is d cube minus 2 d square minus 5 d plus 6 operating on y equal to 0 when your initial conditions are given when <coughs> x equal to 0, y is equal to 1, y dash is equal to minus 7 and y double dash is equal to minus 1. Therefore, these constants are to be evaluated properly, then we will see that how the constants are going to fall. First, what is the uh, main uh, step you are going to propose? It should be the uh, LDO form that is linear differential operator form. Linear differential operator form is that is dy by dx is equal to d, d square y divided by dx square is equal to d square and so on. What is the highest order derivative in this one is? Highest order derivative is that is order number 3. Therefore, third order derivative you must consider. Okay. In the solution, I will write like this. Let uh, this is f of d y <coughs> equal to 0. Therefore, f of d y equal to 0 means that is f of d stands for the derivative term. Derivative term means linear differential operator term. Therefore, implies auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation means that is in terms of m, m cube, right, 2m square plus, uh, sorry, minus 5m, minus 5m, Okay, plus 6 that is equal to 0, correct? Huh? d cube means m cube, d square means m square, d is m and coefficients of same, minus 2, minus 5, first one is 1 and this is plus 6 equal to 0. This is the auxiliary equation. So, do not include in the auxiliary equation this y because this auxiliary equation is written only for the function that is f of d operating on that function is equal to 0. <coughs> then uh, what is uh, the problem is to be written? Then uh, m cube minus 2 m square minus 5 m plus 6 is equal to 0, right. You have to find out the roots for this uh, equation by trial and verification method. If that works fine, otherwise if it does not work then you have to go for Mm, uh, 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 trial, uh, trial values like uh, for which number that satisfies accept the same number as one of the roots of the equation. Okay. So, we will verify one by one as usual as you did in the previous problem we will do the same thing here also. Then let f of m equal to 0 this is equal to plus 6 which is not equal to 0 and f of m equal to 1 we will verify that is 1 minus 2 minus uh, 5 and plus 6 that is equal to what? That is plus 1 m equal to 1 you are giving 1 minus 2 minus 5 and plus 6 means uh, it is minus 7 and plus 7 minus 2 minus 5 is minus 7 1 plus 6 is plus 7. Anyway, this is coincidentally satisfies. This number is satisfied that is plus uh, 7 with uh, minus 7. The answer comes to be 0. Therefore, f of m is equal to 1 that uh, substitution of that number particular number that is m is equal to 1 satisfies. Therefore, that itself we will take it as root of the equation. What is that root? m equal to plus 1 implies m is equal to 1 is 1 root m is equal to 1 is 1 root so that 
so that another function we will verify that is m equal to 1 we will divide that m minus 1 equal to 0 is 1 factor correct huh? if this is 1 root 1 root this is called 1 factor 1 factor then uh, we have to go for the division process that is m minus 1 and you have to divide the given auxiliary equation as it is uh, with uh, third degree that is third degree means m cube minus 2 m square minus 5 m and plus 6 this is m square this is m cube and this is minus 2 m square uh, m square into m m cube not minus 2 this is 1 and minus 1 into m square minus m square ok. On subtraction this comes to be minus m square because this becomes plus sign minus 2 plus 1 gives us minus 1 minus 5 m ok. Then minus m times minus m square plus m this gives minus plus this becomes minus minus 6 m and plus 6 ok. Then how to multiply and plus uh, 6 or minus 6 I think minus 6 ok. So minus 6 if you multiply to cancel this uh, minus 6 m and it is plus 6 then the remainder comes to be 0. If you do not get remainder as 0 then your division process is wrong. Then you must get this remainder remainder as 0 then only your division process uh, is going to be valid otherwise somewhere some mistake is appeared you have to repeatedly check uh, because this must be 0 if it is not 0 then somewhere uh, identification of this root is wrong or division process is wrong that you have to verify because unless this remainder becomes 0 you do not proceed to the next step ok. Then the factors are m minus 1, m minus 1, 1 factor and another factor is m square minus m minus 6 that is equal to 0. This is a uh, quadratic equation ok, 1 and 1 is linear equation. Linear equation is one number you can expect, quadratic equation you can expect two values means two numbers. Therefore, m is equal to 1 one number and m square minus m minus 6 is equal to 0. Then what is the uh, factorization for this directly you can write. So m square it is minus 3m and plus 2m and minus 6 you can write because middle one is minus m on addition that comes to be minus m but multiplication gives the last number last number means this one 6 ok that is 3 into 2 6 with uh, minus correct uh, that is 6 m square that is right. Therefore uh, m minus uh, m into m minus 3 plus m into that is 2 m into it is m minus 3 equal to 0. Therefore m plus 2 into m minus 3 uh, are the possible uh, factors for the equation that is uh, third degree sorry second degree equation where after the division we got it that is m square minus uh, 3m plus 2 uh, sorry m square minus m minus 6 as m square minus 3m plus 2m and minus 6 which gives the roots that is m plus 2 and m minus 3 which ultimately give m is equal to minus 2 comma plus 3. Therefore, total number of roots are m is equal to 1 comma minus 2 and it is 3. These are the 3 roots which you can expect as the auxiliary equation. Um, what kind of roots these are? These are because 3 types of roots I mentioned. One is roots are real and different, roots are real and uh, repeated and roots are imaginary. What kind of roots are uh, these ex uh, uh, existing values for m. Anyway, they are not imaginary because no question of the presence of i, 
and uh, they are not repeated because 1 is not repeated in any one of these two or similarly 2 is not repeated, 3 is not repeated. Obviously, it must be the case 1 that is roots are in the real number system, but they are distinct. That means m1, this is m1, right? this is m2, this is m3, all are not equal, all are not equal. m1 is not equal to m2, m2 is not equal to m3. Therefore, these roots are real and different, real and they are different values. Therefore, the first type of solution uh, means first case of solution you have to write. Uh, what is that first case of solution? That is y is equal to c1 e to the power x plus c2 e to the power minus 2x plus c3 e to the power and it is 3x. Okay. So, this is the problem and uh, I think uh, here it is given as initial condition. That initial condition also to be used. Uh, we will verify this initial condition that is minus 5 and plus 6. Okay. So, what are the initial conditions? These three constants are to be evaluated with the initial conditions. Actually, I had written the problem, but uh, initial conditions are given with the uh, uh, first initial condition is x equal to 0, y equal to 1. Uh, anyway, I will start here by 1 by 1. Right. Uh, the problem is uh, x equal to 0, y equal to 1 and y dash is equal to minus 7 and y double dash is equal to minus 1. Okay. We will use all these conditions because how many uh, initial conditions you must get? Initial conditions you remember, uh, there are uh, in a number of initial conditions are depending on the order of the differential equation. What is the order of the differential equation here? The order of the differential equation is 3. So, there must be 3 sets of initial conditions when the order is 3. Therefore, 3 constants can be evaluated by utilizing the given initial conditions. This is one method of uh, representing. Otherwise, what best you can do is this x equal to 0 is common for all the 3, this one and this one like this. So, because x is independent variable and y is dependent variable, you can use like this y of a, a 0 is equal to 1 and y, da, uh, y dash of 0 is equal to minus 7 and y double dash 0 equal to minus 1. There are 3. So, 3 you have to identify. First one is 1, second one is minus 7 and third one is minus 1. All of them are at the same point that is x equal to 0. Remember, <coughs> every dependent variable value of y, every dependent variable uh, is defined at the same independent variable value then such a system represents the type of uh, condition it is called initial value. Then the problem is associated with that type of condition is called initial value problem. Then <coughs> at uh, different value of x same y values are defined then we will consider it as boundary value problem. <coughs> Those things you will see in your engineering subjects but for mathematics subject is concerned according to your syllabus only the initial value problems we have to discuss. That means, initial value problem means only at a single value of x you have to define all the corresponding values of y. Therefore, with initial conditions and without initial conditions. First of all, you give the priority to study the problems on without initial conditions and the next part you have to take as with initial conditions. Okay. Now, we, we shall see how these three calculations will uh, be followed uh, at each value of x. Okay. So, first one that is at x equal to 0, y equal to 1. Otherwise, this is the first condition, y 0 is equal to 1. But to take these two, you have to differentiate, you have to differentiate the uh, existing solution for two times because y dash and y double dash. Right. So, there are two uh, other, other two conditions in the form of differential coefficient they are given. Right. What is y dash? That is uh, dy by dx. 
for this you have to take the differentiation let us verify that is that remains to be same and minus uh, 2 times c2 e to the power minus 2x plus 3 times c3 e to the power 3x and d square y divided by it is dx square equal to y double dash z equal to c1 e to the power x and uh, plus 4 minus 2 into minus 2 that is plus 4 uh, should be c2 e to the power minus 2x and uh, 3 into 3 one more 3 you are going to write that is equal to 9 c3 e to the power it is 3x okay then c1 plus c2 plus c3 appears in three different steps now if you take this as first this as second this as third and all these three all these three are to be written at uh, these initial conditions okay what are those initial conditions these conditions are written one by one without derivative with the derivative and with second order derivative i will show that how these uh, conditions are going to be applied now the first condition without derivative that means equation number first is for this equation number second is for this and equation number third is for this okay so now one by one i shall take the application of those results uh, in order to evaluate the important three arbitrary constants after the solution is completed okay so this is first step second step third step now first gives first implies means y0 is equal to 1 therefore at x equal to 0 y is equal to 1 x equal to 0 wherever x is there you put it as 0 therefore it is implying 1 is equal to 1 is equal to c1 plus c2 plus c3 is one possible simplification next uh, second implies at x equal to 0 y is equal to what that is a sorry y dash is equal to what minus 7 okay y dash is equal to minus 7 implies left side minus 7 you have to put it and c1 is equal to same same value that is c1 plus c2 mm, no this is multiplied by minus 2 so minus 2 it is c2 and plus 3 it is c3 this is your second equation similarly third gives third gives at x equal to 0 that is y double dash that is equal to minus 1 y double dash is equal to minus 1 this implies what value that implies uh, uh, this step okay and left side is minus 1 is equal to that is equal to uh, here is c1 that is c1 into no no uh, the second order derivative uh, that remains to be same there is no change in that then 4 times it is uh, e to the power 0 that is 4 times c2 and plus 9 times it is c3 this is your third equation so you have three equations with the three unknowns now these three equations three unknowns uh, whether uh, equation solution uh, method is possible or not it should be possible because because uh, equal number of equations with equal number of unknowns always mathematical condition holds good therefore it allows or it admits to go for the further solution because three constants are there c1 c2 and c3 c1 c2 and c3 c1 c2 and c3 you can use the matrices method or you can use uh, the rearrangement from any one of the three equations and take that value and substitute in the remaining equations so we will do that now how this has to be worked and uh, uh, to eliminate the constants from the final form of the solution so that we can write the solution in the presence of k 
calculated values that means particular values of C1, C2, C3. Okay. Suppose I take from the first equation itself. Anyway, it is a matrix equation. Even you can solve for uh, uh, elementary row operation method. Uh, so, uh, uh, actually C1, C2, C3 uh, will play the role in place of x, y, z and you can write the matrix equation. Other uh, matrix equation also will help us. That is one method. Another method I will show in, in uh, uh, very simple way that is C1 here that is C1 plus C2 plus C3. Let, let first gives, first gives it is C3 is equal to what is that left side 1, 1 minus C1 minus C2. Okay. Put this in second, put this in second. What happens? minus 7, okay, uh, minus 7, this one and C1, right, uh, what value we have to substitute here? C3, right, this is C1, first number and minus 2 times C2, in place of C3, you put it by multiplying by 3 into 1 minus C1 minus C2, this is C1 minus 2 times of C2 plus 3 minus 3 times of C1 minus 3 times of C2. Then uh, this is also constant plus 3, you can bring it to the left side, plus 3 becomes minus 3, this is minus 10, then C1 can be clubbed with uh, this one, that is minus 2 times C1 and C2 can be clubbed with this one, minus 5 times it is C2, this is one possible equation. This is first possible rearrangement. Now, the same will be substituted in the equation number 3 that is third implies okay, minus 1 is equal to C1 plus 4 times C2 plus 9 times plus 9 times <coughs> uh, here itself I will write. So, plus 9 times C3, C3 is this value that is 1 minus C1 minus of C2. Then uh, this is uh, plus 9, I will shift it to the other side, this is minus 10, you can expect this is equal to C1, I can club uh, with uh, minus uh, 9 times, minus 8 times C1, my, uh, 4 C2 and minus 9 C2 gives us minus 5 C2. So, this is another equation. Now, this equation I will take it as A and this equation I will take it as B and solving A and B, solving A and B, A and B for what values? That is C1, for solving uh, what values means C1 and C2 because C3 we have eliminated for C1 and C2. Let us see how these equations can be solved. Okay. Uh, minus 2 times C1, this equation I am taking, 5 times C2 is equal to minus 10, right? And uh, here, this equation gives minus 8 times C1, minus 5 times C2, this is equal to minus of 10, right? Okay, minus of 10 means after subtraction, this becomes 0, then C1 is equal to 0. Therefore, anyway this is 0 and subtraction this also becomes 0, C1 equal to 0. Then C1 equal to 0 means then what is the value of C2? Therefore, C2, C1 equal to 0, uh, you can put in any one of the equations because one among these two constants C1 and C2, we got it as C1 is equal to 0, fine. Then any one of these two equations, you put that C1 equal to 0. Therefore, this equation if you make use uh, minus 10 equal to 8 times uh, minus 8 times it is into 0 and minus <coughs> 5 times it is C2. What is the answer? Uh, this is anyway 0 and minus minus cancels and C2 is equal to plus 2. Therefore, this is the value. Now, both of them you can substitute C2 is equal to this one, then C3 you can calculate. Then C3 
is equal to from that equation rearranged equation you can write uh, 1 minus uh, C1 it is 0 and minus of 2 this becomes 1 minus 2 that is equal to minus 1. Therefore, your final form of the solution final form of the solution gives with the calculated values of C1 and C2 and uh, uh, C1, C2 and C3 what where is that C3? C3 is equal to minus 1 right. This final form is C1 is 0 into e to the power x and C2 is uh, 2 plus 2 times e to the power minus 2x and C3 that is minus 1 and e to the power it is 3x. Therefore, still simplified form if you want you can write because 0 is multiplied here it becomes 0 y is equal to 2 times e to the power minus 2x and uh, minus e to the power 3x. Therefore, this is the final solution of that problem when initial conditions are given. Therefore, uh, how the initial conditions are going to play the major role in the homogeneous differential equations. I shall repeat uh, quite a different type of another uh, example that is a totally different type of another example. Then directly how you can uh, uh, reproduce the values of the constants we will check one by one. Okay. So, those constants can be evaluated, but without constants first one problem let me write after with constants I will write that without constants another uh, variety it is a new type of problem I will be writing solve that is d to the power of 4 minus 4 times d square plus 4 operating on y is equal to 0. This is without uh, uh, initial conditions. But you have the problem uh, with the only three terms with the fourth degree uh, derivative, fourth degree derivative. If it comes by trial and verification method, you can take one uh, root. If it does not come, then some another uh, rearrangement you can think of. What is that re rearrangement from this problem? We will search for it. The rearrangement, whatever the method you are going to propose for the given problem as uh, finding the roots that plays the major role of uh, part of the solution. Because as all of you know in mathematics uh, understanding the problem itself is 50 percent of the solution. If you do not understand the problem whatever the problem is given of what type then solution will become totally difficult. So, this is the problem with fourth degree, but only three terms are there. Fourth degree with the three terms, but uh, there always uh, the uh, problem which is different uh, type of uh, the natural uh, uh, basic problem, basic method will have some clue that you can go for shortcut method of answer. So, here that is possible, let us try. Then d to the power of 4, it is given d to the power of 4 minus 4 d square and plus 4 uh, operating on y is equal to 0. This is nothing but f of d operating on y is equal to 0. f of d operating on y is equal to 0 means a uh, function with the derivative part will be written function of d that is y is equal to 0. Okay. Then what is this? Uh, uh, anyway, our job is to find out the values of the roots, values of the numbers which are written in the form of auxiliary equation. First, we will write the auxiliary equation. So, what is the auxiliary equation you can propose for this? m to the power of 4 minus 4 m square plus 4 is equal to 0. For any uh, substitution of m, if that equation is going to be satisfied, then you accept that equation as it is and then write the roots. But here highly impossible, you cannot get the uh, guessing of roots, but here you have to make a rearrangement of writing the equation. That means uh, you have to rewrite the equation in this fashion. Anyway, it is uh, m square whole square you can write and minus 4 times m square you can write. Okay, 
in the brackets if you write like this then 4 is equal to 0. So, this looks like uh, uh, a minus b whole square form is it correct a minus b whole square otherwise this can be written m square whole square minus it is 2 into 2 times uh, that is m square you can put it in brackets right and uh, what else that is 2 times m square and uh, that is plus of 2 square is equal to 0 then it must be m square minus 2 whole square correct huh? verify this m square minus 2 whole square is equal to just like m square you treat it as one term and this is second term a minus b whole square a square minus 2 a b plus b square a square is m square whole square and minus 2 a b. So, minus 2 into this 2 that becomes 2 into 2 4 that is m square and this minus 2 whole square is plus 4. Therefore, you will get 2 factors that is m square minus 2 into m square minus 2 that is equal to 0. So, like this you are getting then each factor if you compare m square uh, minus 2 is equal to 0 implies m square is equal to 2 implies m is equal to what value m is equal to uh, you have to take plus or minus square root of 2 another factor m square uh, minus 2 equal to 0 also implies m is equal to plus or minus it is root 2. Therefore, plus root 2 is repeated once and minus root 2 is repeated once. Therefore, root 2 with plus sign appears once and root 2 with minus sign appears once. Therefore, this is the case of repeated roots. Then we will write the solution y is equal to c1. If you take this one c1 e to the power root 2 into x plus c2 e to the power minus root 2 into x plus of c3 the same number you will notice here that is with the plus root 2 already you have taken then you must multiply that is c3 into x that is e to the power square root of 2 into x and plus c4 x into e to the power minus of square root of 2 into x. So, this is the solution uh, for repeated case but with fourth degree auxiliary equation. Fourth degree auxiliary equation means fourth order differential equation because your differential equation is fourth order and fourth degree auxiliary equation and four constants C1, C2, C3, C4. This is very important part of it uh, before going to the next lecture that is on uh, right side is not 0. All these things uh, so far we studied with right side is 0, we call them as homogeneous equations. So, in the next lecture we will be studying non-homogeneous equations, but complete knowledge of this you must keep ready, uh, so that uh, without this we cannot proceed to the non-homogeneous equations. So, with this uh, extra problems also I may give in my next lecture. Uh, till then you just practice and reproduce all the steps whatever we discussed in these lectures. Thank you.